Hey guys, Henry here, and today we're going to be talking about Black Panther. So Black Panther is another installment in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. It is set sometime after the events of Captain America's Civil War, and I think before Spider-Man Homecoming. The film is directed by Ryan Coogler and is essentially about T'Challa, the Black Panther, returning to his home country of Wakanda in Africa to take up his rightful place as king after his father had recently passed. And it's about all the challenges he faces along the way. This movie has a lot of notable names. It stars Chadwick Boseman as Black Panther, uh, Lupita Nyong'o, Denai Guerrero, Michael B. Jordan, Forrest Whitaker, and Daniel Kaluuya, who uh, was the breakout star from Get Out. The film itself has a sound story. It's by no means a simple or boring plot. It does have multiple layers to it. But at the end of the day, I didn't feel like this story really blew me away. But at the same time, that's okay. We all know that this is a Marvel movie. We all know this is a piece to a bigger puzzle. Even if it's not, you know, the entire Marvel Cinematic Universe, we know that the Black Panther is probably going to get multiple movies. So even in, in its own little Black Panther universe, it's one of many. So I feel like Ryan Coogler did focus a lot on world building and showing us the cultural nuances of Wakanda and introducing us to a whole new range of really interesting characters and their dynamics within each other. Exploring the world of Wakanda was really, really amazing. It's something that is unique and you haven't really seen before because it's blending of African culture and that setting with futuristic elements. It's a futuristic Africa that you can tell it's modern and it's technologically advanced but still maintains that cultural identity. And I think Ryan Coogler did that really, really well and that established this really unique and new tone throughout the film. So at the end of the day, the story did suffer a little bit, but I'm not upset, I'm not mad at all, because the world that they created is just something that is so interesting and intricate, that is definitely something that people would want to explore even more. And now that the world is established, I know that we're going to get to see more of it in the future. So the film did hit all the checkboxes for a good modern superhero film. It's got, it's got a good strong hero with a solid backstory. It's got great action, fight scenes, car chases... It's got cool gadgets and technology, and a bonus, it's even got a well-fleshed-out villain in Killmonger, played by Michael B. Jordan, with legitimate gripes and logical motivations for his actions. So there's nothing really to complain about here. It's a solid movie overall. But the more important thing about this film is its cultural significance. So I'm sitting in the film, and just in the middle of the film, there's a scene, and I realise that everyone in the scene is a person of color except one white guy and it occurred to me that every key character in this movie is a person of color and is played by a person of color and that was shocking to me it, it didn't it's not something i always think about when i go to watch movies i'm not thinking about oh is my culture properly represented in this film i guess that's a bad thing because i'm not thinking about that and i'm just typically okay with there being you know a predominance of basically white i guess white males in leading roles and this film sort of turned it on its head. It not only just had people of colour filling those roles, it had women of colour filling those really important roles. And this just blew my mind. There really is a lack of representation, especially in big blockbuster films. And it was really refreshing and great to see a film like this come out. It sort of means that, you know, we're taking steps in a positive direction. And this film was just perfect. I mean, it wasn't just about having people of colour. It was also about showing their culture and showing their roots in a way and it did that perfectly he did that perfectly and i think ryan coogler did an excellent excellent job he also includes some political messages and they were definitely warranted and definitely left some food for thought however i did feel that there definitely were a few jokes at the expense of white people and most of them were fairly tasteful but there was sort of one joke where i was a bit like you know I didn't know if he had to go there, but it is what it is. I do think that the film was really well thought out. I think that everyone involved really put a lot of thought into everything in this movie. They wanted to make this movie so good that it was undeniable. And I think that they did a really, really good job of that. They made this film just airtight. You can't get mad at this film. You can't poke any holes in this film. So I guess, yeah. Good on ya, Marvel, for making this film, for making Black Panther. Now I want to see a movie full of Asians and have a main character be an Asian superhero. And not a character like Katana or something from Suicide Squad that just was stupid. 
Or like that dumb movie Green Hornet where Jay Chow played Seth Rogen's sidekick, even though Jay Chow had like mad skills and Seth Rogen was just like rich. Like I don't want something stupid like that, but something legitimate like Jake Long's American Dragon, like that sort of shit. That's what I want to see. The American Dragon. All in all, I really enjoyed this movie. It brought a smile to my face, not just because it was funny and the jokes or whatever, but because of what it represented. So far, this film has made $700 million worldwide, and that is crazy. It's already overtaken films like Man of Steel, Logan, The Justice League. So this is just absolutely incredible. It means that people are going out to support this movie, and rightly so. This movie is a great movie. I wouldn't say it's like the best movie I've ever seen, but it definitely is a culturally significant film. And if you haven't seen it in theaters, you should just go out and watch it now. It's gonna be a movie that is gonna be remembered as a turning point uh, for Hollywood blockbuster movies and these big budget films. So basically, if you are not big into superhero movies, if you really just don't care, and you would only ever really see one superhero movie, you don't care about the overarching plot of the whole universe or whatever, I think Black Panther would be the movie to go see. At this point, Black Panther would be that movie. So I do recommend you go out and watch it. And once you watch it, come back and let me know what you think. Thank you guys for watching this review. I hope you liked it. If you did, be sure to give me a big thumbs up. And if you want to see more reviews on film or television, be sure to hit that subscribe button. If you've seen Black Panther and you want to share your thoughts, please comment them down below. And if you have any other suggestions for videos or other movies or television shows you want me to review, be sure to comment them down below as well. Thank you guys, and I'll see you guys next time.